I'm Kerry Joseph, and you're going Inside the Grey Cup. Hi, I'm Chris Cuthbert of TSN and the Fan 590's Grey Cup coverage. You're going Inside the Grey Cup. I'm Christy Giamos and welcome to a very special edition of Inside the Grey Cup. You see, not only is the Grey Cup about putting on a great show, it's also about making sure that the hosting city is treated the Canadian way. What do I mean by Canadian? Well, with global warming scarier than ever these days, Canada's league, the CFL, led by its brand new commissioner Mark Cohan, have made it their number one priority to make sure that the environment is cared for and that Grey Cup goes green. here with CFL Commissioner Mark Cohan here at Rosedale Park. So Mr. Cohan, how did this whole green drive get started? One of the fun things I get to do when I'm uh, Commissioner is travel around the country and talk to young fans. I was at Wexford Collegiate here in Scarborough talking to about 500 students and they asked me, Mr. Commissioner, what type of car do you drive? And I said, I drive a hybrid. They all got up and clapped. It was amazing. So I, we went down the path and I said, is, is the environment important to you and should the CFL do something about it? And they said yes. So you know, from that conversation, talking to other young fans, uh, the initiative of the green drive got started. So what exactly does going green mean? It really means we looked and said, what are going to be the carbon emissions, the amount of waste uh, during the Grey Cup? And we said, what can we do to try and offset some of those emissions? And what we did, we sat down with some sponsors with the Ministry of the Environment here in Ontario, with Zero Footprint, with Turtle Island, uh, with Bull Bullfrog Power. We said, what can we do to make that happen? So we're doing a reforest reforestation project in BC with Zero Footprint. We're doing waste management uh, with Turtle Island. Uh, and with Bullfrog Power, one of the things we're doing is that we're looking at how much energy is being used in the Rogers Centre during the week of the Grey Cup, and we're going to offset with putting green energy back into the grid. So what can us football fans do to help? They can either go onto cfl.ca uh, and do their carbon footprint, and you can see how much, uh, what's your carbon footprint and how you can change your practices for the environment. The other thing, if you're coming to the Grey Cup, and I hope most people are coming to the Grey Cup, you can uh, you know, carpool, you can take the TTC, you can take the go, or you can walk from downtown. Mr. Cohan, why are we here today at Rosedale Park? This is an important place. In 1909, the first Grey Cup was played here at Rosedale Park. You know, this used to be just an old pasture. Um, you have some of the oldest trees in the city in this location. There's been 45 Grey Cups in Toronto. We're celebrating the 46, and why not talk about the Green Drive here? The environment is our baby, and it's just like Andre Talbot holding on to the football with all he's got. We all have to do our part, making sure that we don't fumble Mother Nature, because that's one game we can't afford to lose. Until next time, take care and check out cfl.ca for more webisodes on Inside the Grey Cup.